Hey guys, it's Toby Morris and today I wanted to jump on and talk about the basics. Don't forget the basics. And it's so easy to, you know, dismiss the basics. It's so easy to go down the rabbit hole of trying to find, you know, something complex, something um, you know, that's, I guess, the golden pill or the, you know, just constantly looking for something that's bigger than you think it has to be in order for it to make a big impact. And what happens is the basics get swept, uh, you know, to the side and we forget about doing them and we forget about doing them regularly and consistently. And funnily enough, most of the time, it's usually the basics that actually move people forwards in their recovery. Uh, hey to everyone who's joining live and uh, welcome to all the people who will be watching this replay right now as well. And so I just wanted to share some things that might be really helpful for you um, that you may have forgotten about, that you may maybe not um place much importance on, but can actually make a big difference uh, once you get it right for you, you know. And it's it's just really important to uh, know that and be reminded of that regularly. And within our actual private mentorship program, you know, we help people with this stuff every single day. And it's the small changes that are quite basic hard to do sometimes when you don't feel like doing it or it's a bit complicated or you've got lots of things going on. But when you constantly stick at it, changes occur. And we see it every single week inside our program. And it's a multitude of things. It's never just one thing. And before I kick it off and before we talk about some, some key basic things that you could really uh, implement that would really help you and make a significant impact on your uh, recovery journey, uh, one thing that I want to share is that it's never just one thing that uh, really makes the biggest difference. And you probably know that already, some of you do anyway, but sometimes we can get into, and th thank you guys, all the people who are hitting the like button, it's really great, um, you know, the more people that can see this and, and, you know, you guys can gather together and get the right help is great. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, you know, one thing for sure is that we can, we, again, we can go down that rabbit hole and you've probably been there before where you think, oh my God, oh my God, it's my gut. I need to get rid of the SIBO. I need to get rid of the candida. And once I do that, I'm, you know, I'll be totally better. <laughs> hands up if anyone's done that. Um, hands up if anyone's kind of gone down that rabbit hole of like, I need to, you know, I just need to clean my diet up. I need to heal my gut and then I'm going to get better. Or uh, I just need to, you know, calm my nervous system down and retrain my brain and then I'll be totally fine. Um, hands up if you've been there and done that. Hit the like button if you've been there and done that just so I can see and know um, that, you know, that you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> We've got a few people commenting in. Yep, yep, that's me too. Mm. It's easy to do when we're feeling so horrible, right? It's only natural, I think. And I don't think we need to spend too much time beating ourselves up about it. But it's really great to be reminded of it. Um, and when has ever gone, ever, when has uh, going down the rabbit hole ever been really that helpful? And I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with researching. There's nothing wrong with getting second and third opinions. There's nothing wrong with kind of looking for answers. But when we do it from a place of, you know, this thing, this is it, this is what's going to fix me. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's just this one thing. And once I do that, then everything's going to be great. And sometimes that might be the answer, that one thing. But most of the time, I'd say 97% 90, of the time, it's not just one thing. And when I speak to people who have recovered from chronic fatigue syndrome, you know, and, and, and all the people in, in our program who have done our program over the last, you know, 11, 12 years and before that, before the online program, you know, working with one-on-one -on -one people 
it was never just one thing. It was never a magical cure or, or a supplement or, you know, how many times do you spend hundreds of dollars on supplements and then, you know, you don't take them after four weeks because they don't really work. I've been there. You know, I get it too. It's easy to do. Um, we get overwhelmed. We, you know, we read something online and then someone's, you know, it's a miracle thing and we, and we just do it, um, you know. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that most of the time. Like I said, 97% of the time, the people who I speak to and who I see through my program who make great improvements, who get their quality of life back, who, uh, you know, ultimately start living again, when I ask them what was it, they never, ever say it was one thing. They say it was a multitude of things. It was listening to their body. It was, uh, you know, uh, starting and accepting from where they were at. It was building their baseline. It was nutrition. It was mindset. Um, you know, they always say it was mindset. Everyone, every single person who has recovered has always said a part of it was mindset, getting their mindset right, you know, making sure that, you know, they're doing all the right behaviors that are helping them and moving them forwards. But they never said, you know, it was this supplement or it was this thing. And to be honest, if there was a supplement that that did literally uh, recover everybody from chronic fatigue syndrome, I'd be bloody giving it to everyone I could. You know, I'd be talking about it in every single video. But it's just there's just not. Um, sure, supplements can really help, and we have our functional medicine doctor, Dr. Olivia. She runs live calls inside our group every single month. And and you know, if someone has a question about something regarding supplements she'll share her knowledge with you and she'll help you um, every step of the way but again it's a holistic approach you know um, and and you know like I said hey everybody who's joining now uh, like I said before you know like it's not just one thing that uh, is going to be the answer and with that being said and with that with knowing that hello from Belgium hello with that being said, uh, you know, it, it we can get into a more of a holistic approach, more of a broader view and more of a relaxed approach about just going about what's going to work for us. And it's funny um, for you guys who are watching, some of you might actually know what works for you. And human nature human condition is we don't actually do what we know works for us sometimes. Um, hands up. Hey, hey, Iris. Hands up if you know what what works for you, but you don't do it or you forget to do it or, you know, um, uh, you sabotage yourself. You get in your own way. Hey, from UK. Uh, it's so easy to do, isn't it? It's so easy to get in our own way. Now, some of you might not know what to do, and that's okay too. If you don't know what to do, if you don't know how to, you know, figure out your baseline, if you don't know how to, uh, you know, eat what works for you, if you don't know how to set a good routine and structure that actually um, helps you, then, you know, get some help around that because that will be so greatly useful for you. But for some of you guys who know what to do and who know what works for you, but you don't do it, well, this is a great reminder to get back to the basics. And what I mean by basics is a few things, okay? One, have a bit of a plan. Like, you guys know that when we write things down that we're more likely to do them. Now, if we're just kind of, if we're just going about it and when we, do it, we don't really know what to do, and, and like I said, you go down the rabbit hole, you're seeing that doctor, you're trying that supplement, you're trying to heal your gut and, you know, you're stressing about everything and actually nothing's working. You feel just as bad, if not worse, right? Hands up if you spent thousands of dollars and not actually, nothing's actually happened. Or you put in a lot of effort and energy into something and nothing really happens either. That's just as disheartening. And as I say to everyone, there's nothing wrong with spending money as long as it actually helps you. You know, if it moves you 5 to 10%, then it's so worth doing. Um, but if it's not giving you a result, then it's not really worth an investment. We've got a, you know, one, one Dana says here, my biggest thing is stress. Controlling stress is impossible for me. You know, and so looking at that, looking at that, you know, that's a basic thing that needs to be addressed. Uh, without, it, without addressing it, um, you know, you're kind of going to go around in circles, right? Uh, so first thing, guys. 
inside our program, we have a daily planner. Okay, it's customized to all our members. It's it's got a kind of like a morning routine and an evening routine. It takes about three minutes. And funnily enough, one of our members from UK absolutely hated it at the start, and she she was so stressed about doing it that she just didn't want to do it. And I said, "Don't do it then." And, you know, like there's no point. Exa exactly what Dana said before. Don't do anything that's going to stress you out, right? Anyway, for some reason, she changed her mind. She started doing it. And then she literally filled out every single day for 365 days. And she just sent an email asking for another one to be sent out because she's still a member inside our program. But you don't need that. If you're not in our program, you could just get like a daily plan like this, right? And th this is great, especially if you're at home, if you're struggling, if you're not doing too well, having a bit of an intention every single day uh, would be really useful. Uh, you know, and as, as simple things like this, guys, that can really move the needle inside our program at the moment, we're doing a 30-day challenge. Uh, the key three, which is hydration, refueling, and recalming. <clears throat> so we've got here, um, thank you. Thanks, Tammy, I appreciate that. So, you know, first thing first, like you'd write down, okay, I'm going to have two glasses of water when I wake up. Uh, you know, what's your morning routine? This is just an example. Stretch, move, and uh, do some restorative breathing for five minutes. Have a little snack for breakfast with protein and carbohydrates. Uh, and then, you know, whatever your tasks are that you've got to do that day, for some of you, it will just be, you know, leaving your bedroom and laying on the couch. For some of you, it will be brushing your teeth in the morning. For some of you, it will be you know, some of you who are a little further along the way might be working or studying um, and or, you know, some of you are able to move and start to, uh, you know, use movement again. So everyone's different and this is why it's important that you figure out uh, where you're at and you tune in to where you're at and from there you would write your, your kind of your intentions for the day or your daily plan that would be most useful for you. Does that make sense? Let me know in uh, the comments or just hit the like button if it makes sense if you're watching this right now. Again, we just forget to do this stuff and we don't realize how good it feels to do it. And, you know, ticking this off like one by one, we're getting some likes here. People are going, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This is great. I think people who are... You know, people who are kind of type A personalities or, um, you know, you're either all or nothing, um, this can be really great. And it can be basic stuff like uh, it could be putting down rest, like I'm going to rest for, you know, 30 minutes or whatever at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You put it in and you make it a priority, you know, you make it a priority. And this is the thing that we were talking about before. There's a few comments here. You, what you need to do is identify what, what's holding you back. Stop trying going down the back rabbit hole. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. I've got to do this. It's coming from a stressed place. Nothing great ever really comes from that. Sometimes it will lead you to what you need to know. But most of the time, coming from that place never really helps. Okay. Um, what I would recommend instead is... Find what is holding you back. Really identify though. Don't just like, oh, it's my energy levels. No, like what's causing you to not feel energized? Are you not eating enough? Are you not combining your foods together? Are you not having enough protein or carbohydrates, low, low GI carbohydrates to give you sustainable energy throughout the day? Are you not eating regularly enough because your blood sugar levels keep going up and down? This is what I'm talking about. It sounds, hey, Michelle, it sounds so basic and you forget about it, but it's so important. If you, if you can just tune into that and, and, and log it for a little while, we have a logger inside our program. We have a daily tracker. And I don't recommend tracking for more than two weeks at a time because I think um, micromanaging actually isn't that helpful. Um, we don't let any of our clients do it. It's, not, it's just not that useful. Um, but um, two weeks of tracking w what you're doing can be really great information to see what works and what doesn't work. 
And if we can decrease the list of what doesn't work and increase the list of what does work, magic starts to happen and people go, oh, my God, that's amazing. You made you must be miraculous. No, it wasn't miraculous. It was just that they started to do what works and they stopped doing what didn't work. Does that make sense? This is why coaching is so important because it helps us stay on track and it helps us stay accountable to what we need, okay? So we've got, you know, daily routine and structure through our daily planner and that could be um, again you know if you're inside our program you've got your daily planner you've got your daily tracker you, you've got all the resources in the world basically but if you're not then grab a piece of paper and and, and you could just do a basic thing like this you know um, and we have like gratitude lists and we have great prompt questions to help you uh, have a better day and kind of have a more intentional day um, because you know what it's like when you feel so shit with chronic fatigue syndrome um, and you're having a bad day, you probably aren't going to plan your day. You probably just think, well, I feel like shit, so there's nothing I can do. But you can't let a bad morning ruin a good day. Um, and so many of our members might start off the day uh, with a bit of a rusty motor. But once they refuel, once they restore, and once they get going, you know, that afternoon, they all of a sudden feel a bit better than they did this morning and it's not as bad as they thought it was going to be. But most importantly, they have a planned intentional day um, and that seems to be a really big improver for them over a period of time. This is not overnight stuff, guys, as you know. If you're new to my channel, you know that we just give practical, uh, you know, safe, helpful uh, tips for your recovery. So we've got that. We've got nutrition. We've got fuel, fueling your body. Remember, you know, having a balanced uh, whole foods approach is going to be best. We, you know, we have a no diet approach in our program. And I think it's important to not stress about food. I think um, sometimes if we're stressing about food, it actually is worse than, than going to eat McDonald's. You could be eating broccoli and chicken and da 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 da, and you know celery juices every day. And but if you're stressing about it all the time, then it's actually probably not as useful as being really relaxed, not stressed, and eating McDonald's. You probably get a better um, energy exchange for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've got a few comments here saying, yeah, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, we all are, okay? So don't don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. But let's just see, let's just start doing what works. Like let's stop doing the, the all or nothing approach and let's just have a more holistic focus and a more um, calmer approach to this. And, and you'll be amazed at how quick these things can help. Um, Hydration. Some of you just don't drink enough water. It's crazy. I can't. I actually don't understand that you don't realize that hydration is so important. It doesn't mean you go and drink five liters a day and just smash yourself, but just sip water when you're thirsty and, and have it close to you. And this is another thing that I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with as well. Leave success close to you. So if, if drinking water is not a habit of yours, if eating healthy isn't a habit of yours, if eating shit is a habit of yours, well, if you're leaving that stuff close to you, you're going to do it. So leave success close to you. And that means having your water next to you. It means having a drink bottle filled up, ready to go for your second lot. It means having the fruit and the vegetables and the protein in the fridge ready to go at your eye level so you can see it and you're going to grab it. It might mean preparing some food or getting some help with your food to... Uh, for it to be there for you when you need it and when you need that energy, okay? It might be getting rid of all the shit in your cupboard. It might be getting rid of all the crap that doesn't work for you that you just get rid of. It might be leaving your daily planner or whatever you've got on your desk or on your bedside table. Um, it might mean leaving your foam roller or your yoga mat out there just so when you walk past, you might actually get down and, and do a meditation or a stretch or whatever's appropriate for you right now, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Just let me know uh, by hitting the like button so I can see a few people engaging with this and, and, and understanding it and realizing the importance of it too. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Beautiful. I love it. 
So we spoke about nutrition, spoke about refueling. Uh, what about uh, restorative things, things that are actually going to bring us energy, that actually give us energy? Not many people talk about that. So what are they? They are things like restorative breathing, could be meditation. It could be playing the piano for a couple of minutes at a time. It could be listening to your favourite music. It could be laying down in nature. It could be laying down on your mat with your eyes closed and your legs elevated against a wall. There's so many different things, but basically what we need to do is find some things that actually restore us and bring energy in. And it's amazing when we actually do it, the benefits that you get from it. And it's sometimes in the doing that we that we struggle with. So that comes back to accountability and rewarding yourself once you've done it. Because like I say to my members, you know, sometimes uh, you just feel like shit and you don't want to do anything. You don't want to, you don't feel like stretching. You don't feel like meditating. You don't feel like, and this is what we spoke about in our last call. We do a, we do uh, two calls every single week um, for all our time zones. We literally, we've got members in 48 countries at the moment. And so, you know, I talk about the non-negotiables and I talk about starting the car. I talk about starting the car when you don't feel like it and that car hasn't the rusty car hasn't been going for a while and when you start the car uh eventually things start to smooth out i don't know you know it's it's like anything when we when we get started it's always a little bit awkward sometimes it's a bit hard to get going but once we get going it's really really good do you know what i mean let me know in the comments section here uh, if you know what I mean, and then after five minutes or ten minutes, you usually feel a bit better for it, all right? So you've just got – this is great. I'm glad you guys are finding it really helpful, you know. So, yeah, it's a bit like starting a car, you know, that rusty car that you haven't started for a while. Sometimes you just need to do it, and once you've done it, reward yourself and feel the benefits from it. Awesome. Hey, Julia. Welcome. Hey. Hey, Rick. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's the start that's the hardest. I can't get past it. Well, you need some help then. Like, get that, get the right help because this is the problem. The only thing that's stopping you, and I don't know your name, but you've said your name, he says, what will happen? He, he or she says, yes, it's that. It's the hardest. It's, it's, I can't get past it. It's just getting started. And it's like, well, if that's your problem, then let's find you a solution for it. And once you find a solution, imagine if you just get started. And sometimes you've got to do things even when you don't feel like it. And this is the opposite of what I'm saying. Don't push yourself. It's not about pushing yourself beyond where you're at. It's about doing what's appropriate for you, but actually doing it. And I think you understand what I'm saying here. And so do what's appropriate for you, but actually do the work. Um, and it's funny, like every single week inside our program, we have a, a, an accountability wins check-in. And this is where all our members share a win or an insight from their previous week. And it's incredible the wins that people have. And it might not be physical. It might be a mental one or an emotional one or, you know, I set a boundary one or uh, I read more than two chapters or I painted this or... I, uh, you know, uh, had a really hard conversation or I went for a walk or I did my stretches every single day for five days straight, whatever it is, right? They're all different wins. And I think it's important to like start to put some magnify glasses on that, um, start to write down the wins every single week. Um, all these things can be really helpful in magnifying up what we're kind of doing here. Um, but I think the key here, and again, you know, going back to those basics that are so important is sleep. You know, watching TV before bed, especially crap, unless it's helping you relax, is not useful. Um, scrolling on social media, like how many times do all of you get up, and I've been guilty of this many times when you wake up and the first thing you do is look at your phone and it's just crap. We're just looking at crap the whole time. And we're not doing our morning routine, you know, we're not sticking to what works for us. We're not giving us some real 
you know, time for ourselves to, to reflect and to kind of think and to, to get started. So just be mindful of that, of how that might be impacting you as well. Um, you know, and then we can go down the whole list of, you know, shitty friends and, you know, getting rid of, you know, anyone who's not really supportive of you in your journey. Um, and that's a whole other conversation too. A whole other conversation is around setting boundaries. A whole other conversation is around mindset. You know, what's going on? Like how, you know, someone said in the comments here before, just like they they can't control their stress and they just can't, it's, they, they said it's impossible. Well, maybe then you need, you need to get some support with that. Maybe some support would be really useful, you know. Um, it's always helpful to get some help sometimes. So basics work when you do them. And I just can't <laughs> stress this enough, ironically. But, you know, you know they work. So, so get back onto it and do them. Um, and imagine if you actually do it consistently, the changes that can happen. We got a comment here that says, mine's to do with food. It's hard to kick the habit of addiction. I just bought lots of healthy things, but after just a day or even that, I'll end up ordering crap. And um, and I appreciate your honesty. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah. Well, you've got to sometimes go deeper as well. Sometimes this could be, you know, a deeper issue. Like, why are you eating all this crap? What's the why are you self sabotaging yourself? If you really do want to eat healthy, wouldn't you just eat healthy? What are you believing about eating healthy or not eating healthy that's actually causing you to stay in this pattern? What does it give you? What does eating crap give you? Because there seems to be more of a benefit for eating the crap than there is for eating healthy. And that, you know, and this is quite deep for some of you who haven't seen our work, but. Um, this is the stuff that we do inside our program. Like we have a we have a mindset coach, uh, Gemma Hanley. She's our resident mindset coach. She runs coaching sessions every single month inside our program too. She would help you really identify what's actually holding you back because you you've been honest. This is this person here, which is great, sharing that you know um, it's a bit of an addiction and they they, they want to eat healthy, but then they self sabotage. Well, we'd go deep into that and go well. Where are the benefits for you eating crap? Why are you still doing that? Um, what what purpose is it serving you? And it could be that you know, um, could be a multitude of things. Could be that you're you don't you're scared of getting better. No, that sounds crazy, but the amount of people that have said that to me over the years is pretty amazing. It could be that you don't believe that you're worth it. Ah, perfect. So this person says yes. It's a comfort thing. Um, self-sabotaging yes so it's a comfort thing so great so what we would need to do then is replace the comfort that you get from food with something else that can give you comfort and this will take time this is self-soothing this is uh, basically giving yourself something that it feels uncomfortable initially because you're not getting that comfort from the food but you might be able to get the comfort from meditation or journaling or using the planner or um, the gratification that comes from doing something that's good for you. And you've got to know that sometimes the, the right things don't feel that good. Sometimes doing the work doesn't feel comfortable. Sometimes, you know, as my mentor says, uh, Craig Harper, he used to say to me, what are your non-negotiables? Because you don't do it when you feel like it, you do it when you have to do it. Uh, and so that's just really useful to know. It's great information to have. So I appreciate your honesty, whoever you are who's commenting in. It's kind of like a no name, so it's hard to see. But uh, well done. It's good. I hope this. I hope this call helps you. Um, and sometimes, you know, we just need some more accountability. But please don't beat yourself up. You know, every time you fall off the bandwagon, you know, don't beat yourself up. But again, you know, like I said before, leave clues for success you know leave the things around you that are going to help you the most um, and that might mean you know like I said you know the food the sleep knowing when to go to bed knowing breathing exercises that are going to help calm your nervous system down it might be having a coach in your corner to really help you stay on track and do the right things and I know for me in 2021 
Accountability is the key. We don't need more information. Sometimes we do, but very little we do. We need more accountability. We, we need more engagement. It's it, hands up if you're with me on that. Hit the like button just so I can see. Um, hands up if you're with me that we need more engagement. We need more accountability than, than more information. Tell me, hands up, hit the like button if you're with me on that. Because we, we've all, we can all do a course. We can all watch a video. We can, you know, we can we can do all that. Hey, Michelle, um, you know, we can we can watch the videos. We can buy the course. Hands up if you've spent thousands of dollars, I know I have, on an online course and or, you know, hundreds of dollars, whatever it is, and you do it for four weeks and then you fall off the bandwagon. You know, you, you got really motivated, you got really excited, then you stopped doing it. And this is why um, we preach so much about the basics. And this is why we preach so much about accountability and consistency, because that's what creates results. Like, think about it. Like, um, you know, let's just like use the typical Hollywood, um, you know, example of like an actor. No actor, no real successful actor. Let's say The Rock, because everyone knows The Rock. The Rock didn't get successful overnight. He worked his ass off. And he's been doing this for a long, long time. And, you know, but he's still doing it. That's the crazy thing. Like, he must be, like, in his 40s maybe now. And he's been doing this since he was 20. So that's 20 years of consistently showing up and doing the work. It's pretty fascinating. We've got a question here from Andreas. Uh, how long do I have to stick to the basic to see improvement? I know that's definite for everyone, but probably an approximate. Yeah, usually everyone's different, but you should notice small changes within a couple of weeks or a month. Some of our members, it takes a few months to get their baseline right. And this is, by the way, knowing that you're doing the right things for yourself. You know, you might be, you might be doing all the right things, but they're actually not the right things for you. So you've got to get specific on where you're at and I'll quickly share with you on my uh, iPad for all of you, just so you can know um, about the baseline training. And I'll leave a link in the description, in the comments um, for you to download. But we have uh, a free baseline training for you, which, which really helps you figure out um, where you're at. So you can see here, uh, it's a bit hard with the light, but there's the baseline training here how to stop pushing and crashing, how to make progress, stop the ups and downs, stop the one step forwards, three steps back and start to move forward. So we're looking for stability, consistency and then progress. <clears throat> and so to answer Andre's question, once you kind of get it right, then you can start to notice small changes, maybe a bit more energy, maybe a bit more stamina, maybe a little bit more karma, maybe sleeping better, um, mindset might be better, digestive system might be better. So these are the things we want to look out for that, that um, you know, that, uh, that are seeing improvements and helping us move forwards, okay? So you can download that. It's a free training. I go through it and take you through, um, you know, how to kind of figure it out. This is a very generalized uh, approach. If you want a more personalized approach, we can help you inside our program, which I'll, I'll share with you the details in a moment. Um, but, yeah, definitely check out that. Less is more initially, consistency over intensity, maintain progress, maintain, and, and also enjoy. Like, like I said before, you know, having that rabbit hole approach of this is what I've got to do and this is the only thing, like it's so, it's not useful. It's actually counterintuitive. It doesn't really help. So I hope this video and reminder helps. Uh, if someone in the comments wants to summarize it, uh, that would be brilliant. Um, and, you know, make sure you let me know what was most useful for you. Actually, what stuck for you the most from watching this video, whether you're watching it live right now or the replay, what has stuck the most? What came to you that you're like, that's it, that's what I need to do? Um, but let's just, let's just finish with this again. If you don't plan the day, the day will plan you. If you wake up with no, no intention, no idea what you're going to do, well, you're probably likely to not do too much. 
and not do too much good anyway. We've got too much distraction these days. It's just too easy. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments for you what it is that sticks for you. And, you know, going back to the accountability thing, uh, I actually made a decision. Ah, great. So we've got someone says, Val says, to leave good close by and crap at a distance. I love it. Brilliant. You summarise it better than I did. That's awesome, Val. <laughs> to leave good close by and to crap at a distance. Brilliant. Thanks, Iris. I appreciate it. Uh, Iris says, Daily Planner is a great tip. Becky says, figuring out what are the basics for me. Awesome. Love it. What will happen, says the planner. I'm going to start one. Thank you very much. Great. We have the best daily planner, I believe, on the planet because I've had heaps over my time in my life and then I realized for me what are the three kind of key things and it's really gra gratitude, being grateful, uh, great questions to set yourself up for the day, what your intentions are, and then a daily intentions list. Um, so I can't share with you online what it is just because, you know, it's only for our members, but yeah, it's quite thick, um, and it's six months at a time and we send out a new one every six months. Um, but it's all our members find them really, really helpful. Um, and then, yeah, so get into it. I think that will help you a lot. Um, and you know, like I said before, this accountability thing, if you're struggling with accountability, if you need more support. You know, one of the things that I realized after 2019, after running this program for so long is it doesn't matter how good a video program is. Um, you know, there's too many courses on online these days and I'm sure you guys know as well. And I've spent thousands of dollars on courses and looked at it twice and never looked at it again. And I realized that if, if we want to make deep change and have a deep impact and with the work that we do now, um, we need to we need to really connect um, and if if there's no connection and if there's no uh, engagement the the results aren't going to be as good and for me for me doing this work for so long I really care about uh, you know working with great people who are really committed to um, changing and and really doing the work but I also want to create an environment that that makes it really easy to do. And so that's why I changed the entire program in 2020 uh, to, it, it's a totally, totally different game now. Um, and so this is where we have weekly coaching. We have two calls on Zoom every single week in a group setting. Um, it's incredible. So we've got members from China and Norway and Austria and Australia and Canada and USA and everywhere. And, you know, there's two time zones that suits everybody, basically. Um, gives them the opportunity. There's recordings every single week. There's a back-end program with the, all the latest uh, teachings and trainings. We've got a mindset coach every single month. We've got a Dr. Olivia, a functional medicine doctor, to answer any medical questions you have or supplement questions you have. Um, we have a, a group uh, accountability check-in every single week. And then we have one-on-one -on -one support calls on top of that to supplement everything else in the program. So basically we're, we're really here to help you stay engaged and to make the, the biggest impact you possibly can. And so we're with you every step of the way. And I just think it's just so important to kind of have that if you're looking for that sometimes, you know, you know what it's like. It's just, there's just so much information out there and it's just sometimes we just need the right information and then we just need to go and do it. Um, and it's in the doing that creates results and 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 a real change. And so, uh, it's been a phenomenal journey to watch, really, over the past year of, of these people coming in and and making significant changes in their lives and and getting significant results as as a byproduct of that. Um, so you know, keep that in the back of your mind with accountability. You know, like how can what 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 can I do consistently that's going to help me the most and and keep moving forwards with that. If you want more help um, and now's the right time for you, um, if later is, is better for you, then that's totally fine. Come back, keep watching these videos and, you know, you can apply for it later. But we're actually taking spots this month and next month and we've got 10 spots this month and 10 spots next month uh, as an intake to our program. Uh, all you need to do is go to cfshealth.com slash form, fill out the application form, Watch a short video from me talking about it. 
Uh, and it's by application. So you need to apply and then my assistant, Anne, will send you an email back with some information about how the program works, uh, the cost of it, uh, the duration of it, and kind of what's what's involved and what's included, what you're going to get out of it, what we're going to focus on. And from there, you'll have an initial conversation to make sure you're a good fit for it. And we can from there. So yeah, all you need to do is go to cfshealth.com slash form and type it out. And maybe now's the right time. You know, maybe you're kind of sick of going up and down and you don't have support. You don't have a group of like-minded people who are on the same uh, wavelength as you and are moving towards what they want. Um, so if that sounds good and you want to kind of connect with great people and feel inspired and, and really learn from everyone. And we've got people of all ages from the age of, I think, 17 is our youngest all the way up to 75. It's incredible. And it's fun. That's the great part. Like, we have fun. Um, we even had a Christmas party last year, which was super fun as well. Uh, we had some live musicians come in on our Zoom call and we had a massive Christmas party. So, you know, one of the things that I think is so important is connection and that accountability and engagement. And so that's what you're going to get from working with us is really helping you every step of the way with your baseline, with your routine structure, with any questions you have, and then the support along the way, because what got you here won't get you there. And so things change as you start to improve. We'll be getting rid of some things and adding new things in and helping you with that as well. Um, and we have a huge component of movement, obviously, and we help you figure out whether you should do it or shouldn't do it and when you should and shouldn't do it. So some, some of our members, movement is the last thing they need to be doing right now. And for other members, you know, they're getting back into hiking and they're really feeling good and moving forwards and getting strong. So we help you with all of that. We help you dissect it. So I hope this video helps. I hope this, uh, you know, this call really uh, was useful for you. Um, I'd love you to leave uh, uh, a love or a like button below and comment what your uh, favorite thing was from this. And if you're not on our YouTube channel and you're not subscribed, make sure you head over and subscribe to the channel. Um, and and keep engaging with us. Let, it, let us know what's helping, what's not helping. and um, you know, we can help you move forwards with from where you're at to where you want to be. And for those of you who feel called, um, like I said before, uh, apply for the program through the application form, which is cfshealth.com slash form. And look out for an email in the next 24 hours to 48 hours from my assistant, Anne, and she'll send you an information pack with all the details about how the program works. And then if it feels like a good fit, we'll have a conversation, make sure it is a good fit for you. Uh, and then, you know, we can help you get started from there. Have a great day. We'll speak to you soon.